And now it's time for a journey of truth, an excursion into the unknown to answer the burning question. What the heck is that? Motorists heading down Interstate 4 between Tampa and Orlando, Florida, might just get whiplash when they pass the Airstream Ranch. Modeled after the famous Cadillac Ranch in Texas, it is the brainchild of Frank Bates, owner of nearby Bates RV. Frank came up with the idea a few years ago to honor the classic trailer company's 75th anniversary. There are eight buried Airstreams in all, representing each of the company's eight decades in business. You might be one of those people that call it trash. You might prefer to look at it as art. I kind of like the term trailer hinge. What do you think? I like it. Initially, Mr. Bates' tribute was quite controversial. Well received by some locals, others not so much. Nonetheless, over the years, the planted classics have been the site of numerous modeling shots, artists' depictions, and even music videos. Now here's something you don't see every day. This vacant lot located on a busy shopping thoroughfare has been turned into a giant holding pen for two statuesque, well, statues. George Washington riding on what appears to be a camel and a pink elephant, go figure. Forever immortalized in concrete, George Washington's first attempt at crossing the Delaware. Unfortunately for George, camels are not good swimmers. <laughs> Way to go, George. The pink elephant stands all the way on the other side of the lot, apparently overseeing the traffic patterns. This is actually Alan Funt's daughter. Remember Candid Camera? Meet Ellie. Ellie Funt. <laughs> According to locals, they used to grace the entrance of an old bar at the intersection of two major roadways. It was appropriately called the Old Fork Bar. And as Yogi Berra would say, if you come to a fork in the road, take it. Why not? And heck, I'd walk a mile for a camel. Now this pair of structures will no doubt make you do a double take. Seriously, what the heck is that? No, it's not a tribute to Dolly Parton. These are called monolithic domes. Here in Dover, Florida, you'll find the ABC Domes Company. Dome structures can be used as homes, office and business locations, or even storage facilities. Perhaps the best features are the volume and quality of safety they offer. These particular concrete monoliths are 22,000 square feet each and can withstand winds up to 300 miles per hour. They would most likely be the last structure standing after a major catastrophic weather event. But you know, I just can't help going back to that whole Dolly Parton thing. Yep, there they are, reaching proudly for the heavens. You know, all this adjacent land is for sale. I think you could open up a giant brassiere factory or something over here. Or better yet, an amusement park. What would you call it? <laughs> Brestylvania. Tata Land. Hooterville. Oh, that's been used. Uh, Nippleton. <laughs> what the heck? I'm thinking maybe building a giant <laughs> Sorry. There they are. Proud as Mother Nature. <laughs> All this adjacent land is for sale. I'm thinking somebody should build a giant brazier factory. Hooter Town. Nippleton. <laughs> Tata Land. <laughs> Boobie Wood. Boobie Wood. <laughs>